to address the issues facing Tennesseans today. From 10 News, this is Inside Tennessee. Good morning and welcome to Inside Tennessee. I'm your moderator, John Becker. Our guest is a veteran of more than two decades with the Knoxville Police Department. Her duties included a wide range of responsibilities, handling everything from crashes to criminal investigations, internal affairs, SWAT and crisis negotiation, just to name a few. Almost eight months ago, she was chosen by Mayor Rajero to be the first woman to serve as Knoxville Police Chief and Chief Eve Thomas is with us this morning. Welcome. Thank you. It's great to be here. We're going to introduce our panel and then get to questions. Chief on the end there is Don Bosch. He runs his own law firm and happens to be a Democrat. Good morning, John. Good morning. With us this morning, Karen Carson, who is a nurse and also a former school board member. She's a Republican. Good morning. Good morning. Chief, let's launch into this with what the biggest challenge has been over the first eight months of this job for you. I think really learning all of the people involved as far outside the police department mm -hmm. and building those relationships with uh, people that I didn't have a whole lot of interaction with before, uh, a lot of community leaders, but it's been really, uh, it's been a great experience. It really has, I have so much support from uh, inside the police department and also uh, the city staff. Mm -hmm. Everybody in the city has been so supportive in introducing me to people and it's uh, been great building those relationships. One challenge we know for uh police officers around the country really is recruiting uh, new officers. Can you tell us where recruiting stands right now and at any given time how many officers are on the street? Right. Uh, recruiting is it's it's tough. It's tough here in Knoxville just like everywhere else in the country and you know just to give you an example uh, when I came on 26 years ago we had probably between 800 and 1,000 applications for 35 positions and here in our last class we've got eight graduating a week from uh, well this week this Friday. We'll have eight, and actually, I'm sorry, it'll be nine graduating this Friday. And so we had wanted 40. We mm -hmm. just didn't get enough applications wow. to get those and get them through the background process. So we are really trying to learn how to recruit a little bit better. Um, and we really want to promote our city because here in Knoxville, we have so much community support, mm -hmm. which around the country, when I talk to my peers, there's not that support. Mm -hmm. So, you know, as we talk to people, and then we've tried to, uh, some other things we've tried to put in place, like a lateral program where we will pay you for your experience at another agency so you're not starting out fresh. So we've just enacted that and uh, taking applications year round we're going to start doing that. So we're looking at some ways to be creative. Do you it, think salary is your issue? Yes. Is it pay or? Is, our, our pay is good when the economy is bad. When uh -huh. the economy is good like it is now it's not so great. Right. So starting an yeah. officer makes what? Chief? About 35000 mm -hmm. a year. Yes, about $35,000 a year. So Chief John mentioned, and, and of course I've known you and known of you all through your career, and you came up uh, out of that class in 1993 that contained our former Chief David Roush and two of your deputy chiefs. And so we, we've all become the gray hairs of our respective uh, communities at this point. What is different for you now as Chief politically than as Deputy Chief and as a Captain and a Lieutenant and a Sergeant and Unit Head. How, how has that changed the politics of being the Chief of Police versus whatever politics might exist at the lesser or, or lower ranking positions? I think now I'm responsible for everything that everybody else says and does. And that's, that's a huge responsibility. And, but the good part about it is that I've got a lot of good folks that I work with. The officers do a great job. Uh, their hearts are in it. Uh, our, all of our civilian staff really works hard to do a great job, but I think that's it. It's really representing the good work that the men and women of the Knoxville Police but, Department do. How, uh, the relationships, say the mayor's staff, the city law director, city council, um, how has that changed for you and has that caught you by surprise any? A little bit. To have those high-level conversations is, is, is a different world for me. I didn't spend as much time at de as deputy chief right. as, as most of my predecessors had. Mm -hmm. But, you know, everybody has worked well with me. The mayor's staff has been great from finance to, to David Brace to just anybody I've asked for help or advice has been really good in, in helping me get over that learning curve. And do you have any concerns that uh, the mayor is going to change now in uh, 10 more months or so, if my math is correct? Of course, I'm, you know, I'm appointed by the mayor. Mm -hmm. So right. there's always that chance that whoever comes in has their own person that they'd like to see as police chief. But I'm hoping that the reputation that I'm building will, will carry forward with me and I may have a good shot. At so you would like to serve under the next mayor, whoever would, that may be? I would. I, I think I've got a lot to offer and uh, you know, I, I'd like to be able to lead the police department and continue the direction that Chief Roush had started in, in, in community engagement 
in dealing with some of the crises that we have. What about the relationship with the schools? I know in the past um, there have been memorandums of understanding between the county and city, and, and is that still ongoing? Or yeah, It's still ongoing, and as a matter of fact, as far as school security, we have a great relationship because the head of school security is, yeah. is Chief Gus Peduces, who I got to work for in the police department. Mm -hmm. So we have a, a great relationship. Uh, we're able to talk to each other if we have any concerns, and uh, there's actually a board that he's invited me to sit on, and I haven't sat on the first meeting yet, but uh, with, the, with all the school folks. So great. I'm really looking forward to that, to being involved. Mm -hmm. um, I actually got to supervise our SROs, our school resource officers, about eight years ago, six or eight years ago, and that was very eye-opening as to how we work in the schools and the way the school system works. Mm -hmm. so. When you look at the community as a whole, uh, and you mentioned the, the vibe is different in Knoxville than it is in other parts of the country, um, where would you put the level of community support for the, uh, the police uh, department? Is it, a, is it a 10 on a scale of 1 to 10 being the best it could be, or where would you put it? Wow. I mean, it'd have to be a 9.9. .9. Mm -hmm. In talking to my peers, we really, uh, you know, I, I was talking to, to Deputy Chief Kenny Miller uh, about a week ago, and we were talking about when we came on, uh, we always had support, but there's not a week that goes by that we don't have somebody walk up and say, hey, your officers are doing a great job. We really appreciate it. Okay. It's just there's so many more people out there reaching out to us now, telling us that, you know, they really appreciate what we do. So that's, that's something that we really try and talk a lot about when we recruit. That says a lot. We'll be back with more of our conversation with Chief Eve Thomas of the Knoxville Police Department right after this.